Maglock Japan. Good morning, I am in Asakusa, Tokyo. Asakusa, Tokyo is famous for historical landscape and buildings. There are usually many tourists during the day. It is very rare view as it is so quiet in the morning. Today, I am going to show you a day in the life of a glass craftsman in Asakusa. My channel shows you hot spots of Tokyo, craftsman series, etc. It will be my motivation for the next video, so please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Plus, if you have any YouTube projects you want me to do, let me know on the subscription below. So, let's move to the station and wait here. Oh, I got the message from her that she has just arrived. She will be here soon. Oh, she must be Kana. Good morning, Kana. She is Kana working as a glass craftsman. She has lived in Tokyo since she was born. It takes one hour by train from her house to workplace. When she is a high school student, she has started glasswork just for fun. She has temporarily stopped at her university life. She restarted after graduation. Which means her glass experience will be almost 7 years in total. I wanted to tell you more, but we are arrived. Then let me introduce her unique career later. She is working at a glass shop named Soul Kitchen in Asakusa, Tokyo. This shop handles many domestic and foreign glasses, including Japanese glasses called Edo Kiriko. Edo is the old name of Tokyo and Kiriko means cut glass. The feature is sharp pattern carved on glass surface. It is said the origin of Edo Kiriko is the glass created by Kagaya Kube in 1834. He imitated the cut glass made in UK and created his original blend in Japan. As the material of glass and technology improved, Edo Kiriko gradually spread among people in Edo. The tradition has been taken over nowadays, craftsmen create one by one. Saokichi is working on business from design to sales. Kana worked as a craftsman and lecturer for handmade class here. Let's ask Kana about this shop before she starts to work. What kind of people come to this shop? Which one is the best seller of this shop? Kana's favorite Edo Kiriko is this Kagami Crystal. Let's move to her art studio. She creates her artworks and teaches Edo Kiriko at her handmade class on the second floor. Let's get inside. Wow, there are many beautiful glasses on the desk. You can see Asakusa view from here. Let's ask her, what are you doing right now? They are sometimes sad and booking for the classes. Customers will be here soon. She started cleaning and preparation. Now the customers are here. Kana picks them up downstairs. This handmade class is 19 minutes per one time. Well, the participants in the morning have all gathered. As Saokichi supports English and Chinese, foreigners do not need an interpreter. You can experience at ease. The experience is done by five steps. 1. Choose from over 20 glasses of different colors, shapes, and sizes. 2. Practice cutting. 3. Choose from dozens of designs. 4. Cut the glass you chose. 5. Complete. 
it seems that Kana started working on something in between. Apparently, she's making an autograph from individual customer. They have custom requests from customers like every day. Wow! Done! That must be some flower, yeah? It looks she has just finished as well. <laughs> Let's ask this lady how it was. She was born in Hong Kong, living in England. Is it the first time to try Erokiriko and travel to Asakusa? Uh, it's not my first time to travel to Asakusa, but then I'm making this one and this is my first time. What was the most difficult? Say, to make like a straight line. Sometimes um, when I'm holding the glass, I might tilt a bit, but I have to try to like hold it steady. Do you want to recommend this for your friends? Yes, of course, I highly recommend. Let's also ask this family coming from New Zealand. Is it your first time to visit Asakusa? I'm here, I'm to Japan, and we visit a lot of places, so we've been to Asakusa quite a few times. How did you find this Erokiriko handmade experience? When we looked up the Chikatoku mm -hmm. um, right, uh, tickets, so I didn't know about it until I saw it on the, um, yeah, the sightseeing guide and stuff. So. so Kichi is awesome that everyone from adults to children can enjoy. Yeah. Now it is lunchtime! Kana's favorite is Vietnamese food. When she's busy at work, she sometimes has a quick bite at a convenience store. She can eat outside for the day. It looks delicious. I'll enjoy having this. And Kana has classes in the afternoon too. Let's interview her colleagues. Let's go! He is Kana's boss, So Ichiro. He manages this shop as well as creates works. How long have you worked as a craftsman? How do you see Kana's work? Lastly, do you have any comments? Let's ask another colleague. Hi, let me ask a bit. How long have you worked as a craftsman? What is your responsibility here? I found staffs in Sokichi work individually rather than group. It seems that Kana's afternoon classes have all done. Let's ask her personal life. Hi, Kana. I heard that you got married recently. How's your life these days? She usually produces custom-made glasses or creates her prototypes this time. But today, she showed how to produce Edo Kiriko for us. The first process is called draft. Well, she draws equal lines vertically and horizontally with a pen. The second process is rough grinding, also known as arazuri. Mm -hmm. 
てもらった感じでザラザラした豆腐きめが粗いパテにこちらは一応ポテトサラダのパティなんですけどもいろいろな作業が必要なのでまずは3番かけ。大中に削った線をこれだとねあのすごく鉄茶とかが粗いのでパが一目が細かいもので上からまた削っていきます。Lastly, after you It is hard to cut dozens of custom made glasses than you look in a limited amount of time every single day. When she has started this work, she has gotten tenosynovitis. Practice makes perfect. I have also tried three sanban kake. Hmm, it's quite difficult. It doesn't matter only a day, but it must be hard to make dozens of works like her. I've also tried it. While you're making your work, what are you particularly aware of? As the method varies depending on the material, you need to cut while thinking. For beginner, it is better to choose colorless transparent glass and simple design. If you have a little confidence, you may try the other design and color of the glasses. Kana, show me your artworks! These are her prototypes, but they are so beautiful, like displayed in a museum. There are some series that have been commercialized out of her artworks. The product name is Edo Stripe Sake Glass Series. This stripe pattern was popular in the Edo period. It is stylish and good for gifts. The color is not only blue indigo but also gold red. If you'd like to get her artworks, check the description below. For series commercialization, she's working on prototype. Her goal is to increase her masterpiece in the future. She is working hard to improve her kiriko skills in order to achieve her goal. Hi, Kana, are you off work? As I told in the beginning, she has a unique career. She graduated from English faculty of Sofia University. After that, she started to work at a global manufacturing company. Her responsibility was to negotiate with many vendors in other countries. Let's ask her personal life as well. What made you want to become an educational craftsman? Did you feel anxious when you decide to start the new career? Finally, anything you want to tell? ま
人でもお友達と家族とでも遊びに来て、えー、楽しい体験をしてもらえれば嬉しいと思います。It's finally dinner time! Today's dinner is tendon, which is famous in Asakusa. Wow, looks so nice! Thanks for today! Kana left Asakusa for her home. Bye bye, Kana! Then, see you at the next video!